Liverpool 3, Manchester United 0. Faz, take it away, mate. Obviously, I think I already know your answer about Tanagin Ginner out, but just take it away, bro. No, no, keep him. I'll keep him? Yeah, keep him, keep him. Really? Because there's levels of pain you have to go through in life, you know. First, you, you, you feel pain, you scream, you shout. Then you, you start crying. Then after that, you get angry. You There's levels know. of pain. And then eventually you get numb and you start get, your tolerance level to pain goes up. And that's what we need Manchester United fans to go through because um, right now, there's still a lot of people who are Ten Hag in, you know, to keep him in. Yeah. And there's a lot of people who are out. All the times, there was like half and half. So we need to come as a fan base to a situation where everybody wants him out. Yeah. That's the day we're going to be united. Until then, it's still going to be play, play, uh, people making excuses. They're going to blame Casemiro. I don't blame Casemiro. You know, he's, he's, he's a player that's past his prime and uh, he's come here to secure his future, his family's future, and that's what he's doing. He's getting picked by the manager. Why am I going to blame him? He's, he's susceptible to making mistakes. Yeah. We know that already from last season. It's nothing new. So you play a way that is hiding your players' weaknesses and enhances, enhancing their strengths. But this manager is incapable. Yeah. You know, I'm 18 months in, what is it, 18 months, something like that, in of, of telling people, educating people on this manager. And Arnie Slot is coming, new manager into the league, doesn't know the league well. He's still not conceded a goal yet in the, in the league. They're the only team in the league that have not conceded a goal. Look at the way they're passing. You can hear the sound of the passes. Yeah. That's how, that's how well drilled they are. And obviously yeah. they have a better squad, but it's not the goals that we're conceding it's the way we're conceding yeah. the goals it's embarrassing yeah obviously with what you've said about the slot obviously he is quite fortunate to inherit such a decent side obviously this liverpool side has been used yeah, to sure. competing with titles for the last few years now who won big trophies exactly yeah. exactly obviously this united side has been in a rebuild for yeah. the last decade yeah. do you know what i mean we've seen so many faces come in and out but i want to speak about your boy diogo dallo what do you think about him being shifted onto left back when he was practically our player of the season last season do you feel like that he's the only option I can play at left back or do you think Tenag just prefers Maserawi at the right back? No, I think it's better to play Maserawi on the right back because eventually I need Anthony to come back. The reason why I say that is because that's, that's as I say, Ten Hag steps on Anthony. He needs to come back into the team and he needs to prove to us that he can play for Manchester United. You know, you have to expose. Do you understand what yeah, I'm saying? Yeah. I'm not saying bring Anthony because I love him. I'm saying you have to expose this is his players. He's brought Anthony. He can't make him work. So then he's went and brought a fullback that partnered with him really well. That's what Eric Tenag fans are telling me. They're telling me, oh, he's bought Maserawi because he's going to link with Anthony really well. Well, play him then. Let's see. Yeah. Let's really see what he can do. Maserawi is a top player. So far, I've really enjoyed seeing him play. And Dalo, fantastic right back, but it only tells you how good of a player he is, how good of an athlete he is, that he can play left and right. So, um, you know... Asking any general fan, they're comfortable with Dalo playing left back. I'm, I'm perfectly fine. You know, he was making good challenges, good tackles. Um, obviously, the goal still came, some of them from his side. But uh, it's a team team yeah. sport at the end of the day. He's still our player this season, last season. And uh, he's, he's, he's doing really well. He progresses the ball so well as well. So, yeah. it's a shame he's on the losing side. I agree with you, obviously. We have got a few injuries still. Obviously, Luke Shaw has yet to yeah, come but, but, back. I'm sorry. Yeah. I'm not going to cry about injuries. I'm no, not. Because... That. The players who are injured, we want them out the club. Yeah. So why am I going to cry about them? Yeah, fair. There's literally no player injured, if I can think from the top of my head. Lenny Arrow? Lenny, yeah. So instead Hoyland. of Maguire, Lenny would have come on. Hoyland. Come on. But Zixi should be in front of Hoyland anyways. You think? Yeah, because Zixi is a bit more uh, um, cool. technical and and also in terms of professional career. Zixi's had you know a more professional career. Yeah. Before Rasmus came to Manchester United, he's not been a pro for that long yeah. do you know what I'm saying in terms of first team football um, and on top of that as well, Lenny Euro so Rasmus yeah he could come on for Xerxes who else am I missing so someone I don't think Ugate he's Ugarte, not registered, yeah. yet, registered yet but let's be honest if those players come in what are the routines Yeah, I, I, I agree with what you bro what are the plays that we're making that would be different Yeah. obviously I'm going to say something now obviously I don't know where you stand on this certain player but we could have got Ivan Tony for the same price as Xerxes what do you think on that 100% I would have given him more I would have given him probably like a if we we make Champions League a 10 mil more. We need a killer up front. Yeah. So, like, you don't... I love Kobe. I love Ahmad. But that's not who you build your team around. We're Manchester United. We have a history and DNA. We have top-class strikers in our DNA, in our history. We went and got the best striker. Who's the best striker in the world right now? Let's go get him. Yeah. That's what we're... Billy Haaland. <laughs> you know, we can't get him. Who's the next best one? Harry Kane, we couldn't get him. Who's the next best? Every year there's a striker that'll come up. Football yeah. changes every six, seven months, nine months. You'll like see Jokeres at Sporting. Right? 
Ivan Tony's available. He was he was on you know less than fifty k, whatever he was, was on twenty k a week on, on Brentford. Yeah. yeah, give him one fifty. Put loads of bonuses in. Break the bank. Exactly. If you make top four, you're gonna make back that money anyways. Exactly. Shirt sales, you're gonna make back the money anyways. So a lot of English fans love Ivan Tony, don't they? Oh my, it's absolutely diabolical. A striker like that comes up in the market and you let him go. Awful. Yeah. And this this team spent sixty. What is it? Fifty five million on Mason Mount. And, and Ivan Tooney would, would have been co costing less than that. Yeah. And Mason's missed a whole season. I know. This is absolute. And if Ivan's on the pitch, without shadow of a doubt, we can then pinpoint, right, wingers, you're not doing enough. Yeah. This guy, you're not doing enough. Because the whole team, Manchester City striker is probably the worst striker to watch in terms of eye test. Yeah. But his numbers are crazy because the team work to his strengths. I completely agree with you, bro, honestly. Like, obviously, it's international break now for a week. Now, what do you think tonight's going to be working on with them players? Do you think he's going to stick to this false nine formation? Because I saw Zerkti dropping a lot into midfield today and he just didn't really do much. Yeah, because he has to. He's not... I'm, I'm really sorry, yeah? The strikers that we have... I don't have any loyalty and respect towards them. They've not done anything to earn yeah, it. Yeah, I completely agree, bro. They, they haven't earned anything. And, and once they do, then I can give it to them. And Zix isn't the type of player that's going to come and, and receive the ball in the air. So he has to drop in. I can see why he's doing that. Yeah, I completely agree, bro. Thank you for speaking to me, bro. No worries, bro. Cheers, bro.